Hi, this is Dr. Gary. Welcome to the Daily Tune-Up today. You know, as I think about things, as I talk to people across the country every day, it's becoming obvious to me that most of the people around right now have lost complete connection of what builds an opportunity and how to even recognize an opportunity if it's slapping them in the face. I find people saying all the time, and this isn't just our young people, it's even people my age saying, oh, I don't want to go to work there, I could get a job there, but. And the but usually has something to do with, it's not really what I want to be doing, or that's not how I want to spend my time, or I don't see where that's taking me, or I don't see that going anywhere. The point a lot of people are missing right now Opportunities sometimes look like challenges and problems, but they're just in work clothes. And a lot of times an opportunity really tests you in being something that doesn't look like an opportunity until you really sink your teeth into it, until you really start doing it, and then that evolves into something real that you really can appreciate. Here's the problem I'm having right now with understanding people, is that if you have an opportunity to go to work and you're not working, even if it's making not very much money at all, and even if it's part-time, that seems to be better than nothing. It seems to be that you have a better chance, since you're in the workforce then, of doing something or finding something or somebody discovering you that if you're buried at home behind a computer sending out resumes. You know, the word is right now, jobs are starting to happen. The word is right now that things are getting a little bit better. But I can guarantee you they're still not going to get better like they could if each one of us would take any opportunity we can grab right now and run with it and let that transpose itself into a new opportunity and then a new opportunity as you parlay yourself up to what you want to be doing. But just sitting around waiting for that ideal opportunity to come along is a waste of time and it's not probably going to happen. We've got to really wake up right now. we become so lazy and complacent in just being entitled to what we want. We forgot how to work for it sometimes. And I think right now we've got to get back to understanding we're going to create our opportunities by showing good faith and being willing to do just about anything to get back in the game. Really, there are jobs out there and I understand those jobs may not be what you want or what you had but it's better than nothing and it does put a little bit of money in your pocket and it does circulate you into a place where you can hear people talking and hear of opportunities and new things happening that you would never have known about if you hadn't been out there. I want us to really think about this and our children have grown up with this entitlement attitude that they want a brand new car, they want to start driving BMWs and brand new SUVs as their first car. And I'm not saying I never had that opportunity, but I had to earn my cars. I had to earn my opportunities by at least getting in the game when I was young. And I think that we've got to start taking a good hard look at that today. Because if we miss these opportunities that are small at first, they never have a chance to blossom into a big one. So the point of the, the fact is today is I want you to really be aware that there are all kinds of opportunities around right now and they may not look like opportunities. However, they can turn into some pretty cool things if you just get in the game. Let's think about that. And let's talk to our young people and get them to understand that they make their opportunities. And anything that's a seed that you can water, that can blossom into something bigger, is an opportunity that's happening that could happen faster than if they do nothing. So until tomorrow, this is Dr. Gary asking you to really prospect for those opportunities. They're out there. You just got to be willing to grab them and cultivate them. Until then, bye-bye.